Hello Geeks and welcome back to my channel. And, as you must already know, yes, it's call up time again. The theme? Well, it's pretty obvious, it's Marvel guys. So much talent on these amazing dolls, so you guys really need to check out the characters from... Ten Dance OOAK Ali Kazam Anastasia Custom Creatures the Law Doll Mill Dolumentary A Shelly Crafts Extian Kiros Worship My Minimum Curiosities? Well guys, that's me. The Doll Fairy. And Time Up Creations. So, I'll be making Mystique from X-Men. And I'm gonna be using Supergirl from DC Superhero Girls line. Especially because this doll is already blue and it's gonna make our work a lot easier. In the beginning I was wondering if I should go for the live action look or her classic comic look, so I came up with this idea of mixing both of them. I came across on the internet with this amazing artwork of her, and this is really how I want her to look, so keeping this picture in mind, let's get started. After I unboxed the doll, I was really surprised, and not in a good way. This was totally unexpected. This doll doesn't have actual feet. I really don't get why, but, well, Mattel acts in mysterious ways sometimes. Anyway, let's start, and I'm gonna make this work later. First, using my rotary tool, I'm gonna get rid of all the molded on details that makes that illusion of a bodysuit. Of course, my tool makes this step incredibly easy. After getting rid of all those details, I sand a little bit just to smooth the surface. We need to carve the molded on bracelets to transform them into gloves. I'm gonna be using an exacto knife for this and I'm gonna carve them really carefully until I get the shape I want. I don't need so much details on her boots either, so I'm gonna keep them minimal. Using a watercolor white pencil, I drew a guide of all the lines where I will be placing the scales. We're gonna use epoxy score for it. This part took longer than I thought. It was like three days working on this, but it really pays off in the end. There's nothing like this actual 3D texture on her skin. Remember the feetless surprise? Well, I decided to use an extra pair of legs and arms, so we can replace them just like some action figures. This way we can also recreate the live action look. I 
I got the lint from another doll. And don't worry, I'm gonna use her for some other crazy project. Now it's time to paint the head and make it match the rest of the body. You know I use this technique a lot, and always remember, a soft brush is always required. And of course I'm going to make the scales on her face, using the same technique I use on her body. I'm going to make the same on the extra pair of limbs. All the scales are now done and she's looking good so far. So, let's match the whole color. This is going to make our work a lot easier later, believe me. Once she's completely blue, we can start the face-up. Making the face-up was a really challenge for me. This is the first time I make a face-up on a non-human skin tone, and I felt the struggles in the very beginning. Plus, I think the blues, and all the cold colors in general, are so much more hard to work with than the warm ones. Anyway, I managed to break the ice and the face-ups start to go as usual. I have to share this with you guys. When it comes to supernatural abilities, since I was a child, shape-shifting was always my favorite. That's why, when I was invited to this collab, I knew I had to make Mystique for sure. I just adore her. So, what's your favorite superpower? Let me know in the comments, it will be fun. I'm going to use a metallic blue acrylic paint just for her scale and make them really pop out. As I said before, since the scales are already blue, this step is gonna be really easy. Okay guys, don't panic. I really was trying to convince myself that everything was okay, but the truth is the eyes were not really working for me. They look like mm, derpish, I don't know. So I decided to go for her comic eyes with no irises or pupils, and I really love them the way they turn out. I think it was a wise choice. I'm gonna blush her body just to add some life to it. And of course, 
I'm gonna paint the scales in the same blue metallic shade we did for her face. I will make the hair using acrylic yarn wefts. You know this is my favorite technique when it comes to doll hair. Sometimes these little tricks will do the job. And the hair is done. Let's proceed to the comic outfit. I'm really going to rush this part a little bit, because this dress is really easy to make. Just a few stitches and that's it. I really want to add a pearl finish to the gloves and the boot to make them really fancier. And I finally made the tiny scoops for her belt using elder clay. We're gonna paint them gold. And here she is, guys. I think she turned out really well, just like I envisioned her. She can be used both as the live action movie or the comic version. I just need to replace her limbs and the seat, just like an action figure. So well guys, I'm really happy you enjoyed today's video, I'm always happy when you join me on my gigs and ventures, thank you so much for watching, leave a comment, I promise I always try to reply all of you. Don't forget to check out all the other videos of this collab and supporting on subscribing to our channel. Well, that's all for today, and until the next time, bye!